Welcome back to our channel. This is where you learn and I share with you tidbits that I've learned over the years and let's get into why you're here today. Do you have a leaky outside spigot? Do you have a leaky outside faucet? Is water just gushing out of it? Is it dripping? Well, you're at the right place because I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that. goodness we have water running everywhere what would cause that and the water does not stop for a little while it has a valve inside that clear inside uh, inside the house which is what causes it not to freeze up in the winter time so we're going to go ahead and take this apart and Check this out and just see what's inside there and what's causing it. But before we go taking that all apart, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go inside the house near the source of the water and figure out, or not figure out, but turn the water supply off because we take this thing apart, we're going to have more of a leak. So let's go inside. the house in the basement and there's it's not accessible where this is so now we need to go back to where the well is or where the water comes inside the house back in the back corner here in the house so we found the tank in our basement <clears throat> excuse me where the water from the well comes into the house now your house might be a little bit different if you're on city water but we got a, a valve down here at the bottom. There where it comes into the tank. This, you just need to turn it that way. And you can follow. This line goes up towards the front of the house and this is where we'll shut the water off. So now we're ready to head back outside. Okay, first what we'll do is I grab myself a Phillips screwdriver and we'll take this handle off. You wanna make sure you don't drop the screw because it could get lost. That comes out like that. If you're like me, search online and every video you watch or every instruction you look at, it just seems like there's no consistency. But I'll show you exactly what mine looks like and we can learn together of how to cor or correct a leaky outside spigot. I'm going to go ahead and use this ratchet set and of course it's inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter is the size and it was very loose. You'd almost be able to loosen that with my hand. and we'll go ahead and pull that apart there's a little flat end on there and I took this adjustable and turned it, it was a little a little bit touchy but it just comes apart like this and it feels like it feels like a spring in there maybe or something Looks like a uh, piece of rubber here. There's a little rubber washer on the end. Because when you turn this, 
it pushes and closes off these holes that allow water to come out. And you can see how this beveled piece fell all apart. Now that we have it all apart, know what's inside. Go to the link below and you can order one and wait for it to show up in the mail. All right, this is exactly what we needed. Now there is some instructions on the back of the paperwork or on the back of the package that you can use, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did it, which is pretty much the same as what the directions say. We got the got this piece took apart. You can see here on the end there's a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna take that rubber washer off and then take off that little rubber sleeve. Just like that. And then on the inside there's a a uh, a beveled washer. It's not really rubber. I think it's called a graphite. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And then we're going to push the new one back on this way. So we got that pushed up in and, and seated right in the way it's supposed to be. And then we got this end piece that we're going to put on. Go ahead and put that in there and put a screw in. Now it'll be the, the shorter of the two screws. We'll need this longer piece for our new, the new handle. So we'll put that on there and screw it into place. Okay, we got this together. We got the washer on the end and that other piece. This is going to be a little bit tricky trying to get this in here. It shouldn't be too bad. You just kind of turn it and twist it at the same time as you go in. There. There it's in. And push that in there like that until it bottoms out. And then what we'll do is we'll turn that into place. You know how it had threads on the end of it. Big thick threads. Now it kind of bottomed out. So we have the end piece here, and here's our graphite piece in here. that back on. I don't want to make it too tight. We'll uh, just kind of snug it up. And put back on our handle. That really makes that look a lot nicer. But I think before we do that, we'll go ahead and replace that since the piece came with since I came with it. That basically what that does is it lets air in. So the water will drain out. So it don't freeze in the winter time. It's kind of a different design, isn't it? Put that in there. And just put that over top like that. And that gets rid of that ugly looking cap that the sun baked and then we will put the cap on for certain and screw that in with our handy dandy screwdriver and tighten that up nice then I'm going to run down and turn the water on down at the well pump and then we're going to check to see if this thing's going to leak or if it's going to be a great job. Okay, okay now we're going to turn this on. Hear the water run in. I 
don't hear the water running through the system so it must be holding outside so let's go outside and check it out got that on there nice and tight and let's test this out well it's leaking out there just a little bit so that means we need to tighten this up just a little bit so let's grab a wrench okay we got it tightened up actually what it went up in this here needs a little bit tighter too so let's turn this on and try it out here the water coming out into the hose and there is no leaks anywhere okay job well done if you like this video go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you learned something hit it again so hit the go ahead and subscribe if you if this content was good and it was helpful and that helps us to help you guys and until the next time we will be back